welcome to my channel um, if you're new here then um, what I do is I do scripted book reviews taken from my Instagram account uh, so if you've just popped by and um, just as a random chance uh, please subscribe and um, and follow and uh, hit that notification bell okay so today's uh, book review is uh, from an author that I, f I follow on uh, Facebook she contacted me um, herself and asked if I could be an arc reader for, for her um, her uh, book. Uh, she's a romance writer and her name is Barbara Hine and um, although this is was read as an arc it's been out for quite a while now so um, the book is now published so let's start. So the, uh, the book is called The Happiest Little Town. Here we have Tilly, a 13-year-old, her mum deceased and her so-called dad has shirked off all responsibilities hoofing it to some other place overseas. Kate now becomes her guardian. Why? Well, just let's say that it took Kate a while to come to terms with it all, considering her plan was to be a free spirit and roam the country in her do-it-yourself van. The community welcomed Tilly with such open arms that she ended up in a little theatrical group. Olivia, who is the all-important star in one of the acting leading roles, has damaged her foot and finds herself out of the show. Olivia finds herself finding a new role of coaching young Tilly. However, Oliver, uh, Ol Olivia at the beginning is uncertain and then she realises she's carrying emotional baggage of years ago. You'll find out what this is in the story. Plot twists galore adds to a gripping book and to top it all off, there is a romance in the air when sparky electrician van man ignites more than one piece of cake. Mm. I want to thank an appreciation with gratitude Barbara Hene and Penguin Random House Australia for giving me the arc of the happiest little town. This was an absolute gem of a story. I just couldn't get enough of it. In fact, it was really sad putting it down because I wanted to be in that neighbourhood. Written in a witty style, you could tell Barbara was in her element and a sense of fun and enjoyment leaked through the pages as well as pouring my heart out. And speaking of which, my eyes turned into a leaky mess with parts that were heart-rendering. But fear not. With the balance of wit and other shenanigans, they were planted, um, they were planted for entertaining purposes. I felt like I had been on a holiday to Australia. Definitely, this story will stay with me for ages. 
And I want to thank, congratulate Barbara on her beautiful writing skills. Of course, I gave this uh, this uh, book uh, five stars. I haven't got the uh, physical copy. I was given the ebook to read, and um, naturally, it's a contemporary fiction romance. Uh, a read. So um, until next time, this is Pauline Reed signing out. Have a good one.